I've got a massive warning for anyone who's not panic buying HBAR, XLM, Jasmine, Ethereum right now. Any crypto you can think of, guys. Right now, everyone is wrong. And I'm going to show you exactly what is happening in the news that's indicating exactly what we should be doing right now. I'm also going to show you some charts later on if you've got the patience to stick around for the next six or seven minutes. Hit the like button. Let's get into today's video. Now, guys, everywhere we look, the news is awash with negative crap about crypto. UK lawmakers clash over government plans to regulate crypto as financial services. Binance US suspends USD deposits, warn of fiat withdrawal pause. SEC charges Coinbase for operating as an unregistered securities exchange broker and clearing agency. Everything you can look at right now in crypto is super, super negative. And this is great stuff, okay? Because of a few things I'm gonna talk about. Now, first of all, I'll bring you the quote that we talk about quite a lot on this channel. Be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. Very telling stuff given the situation. And there's also this diagram, buy the rumor, sell the news. Now you're probably going, well, what does this mean? Now in the past, you've probably heard of things that are like, oh, we're gonna get an upgrade on Ethereum. We're gonna get this massive upgrade happen on Jasmi or the release of this news for Rachebar and then nothing happens. If anything, the price tends to go down. And you're like, well, why does that happen? Well, guys, if it's already anticipated, if you know it's gonna happen, it's already priced into the price, okay? If I buy something, knowing already the performance of that thing, it's already factored into the price, okay? I hope you understand that. And this happens both ways. That's in a bull market, okay? Or a market that's moving towards the upside. However, if the speculative negative news comes into the market, it's already factored in. The price of Bitcoin that we look at right now and the price of every altcoin is already there. It's already telling us all of this negative news. And it's so obvious. So if it's already there, well, what's the opposite reaction that we could do? The market is gonna move towards the upside. Now, if you're in my inner circle Discord, which is linked down below guys, 9.99 per month, then you'll get automatically, as well as many other benefits, updated feeds from my favorite Twitter threaders, of which these guys are way smarter than, you know, me and pretty much everyone else. No matter which way you look at it, they're all identifying a similar thing going on in crypto. This is a butterfly pattern that is bullish for Bitcoin. Here you can also identify areas after the accumulation zone where we're bouncing off the 200 AMA and then we can see what happens after, like literally every time guys, we are literally there right now. Now you put that together with the negative news sentiment and it shows very big things that are happening on the charts. And let's dive in and look at Bitcoin and I'm gonna show you exactly what you're missing. This is a one day chart on Bitcoin. Now, whether you know trading chart patterns or not, there's a few that you probably do know. And this is one that's probably more important than any other you'll look at. This is a shoulder. This is a head and this is a shoulder. This is an inverse head and shoulders chart pattern. This is a very bullish pattern. We take down and we draw our target off here, okay? So stick with me. This takes us to $35,896. Now what we've got else happening here, we have been back to retest this previous line of resistance, which was the neckline of this head and shoulders pattern. Now what you've got is a descending wedge pattern that's creeping lower and lower and everyone thinks it's gonna do this. It's not gonna do this, guys. Everyone's anticipating that that's gonna happen. We can see the negative news that came out was this white candle here, the squeeze down here, went under this line and then it wicked right back up again. This chart pattern more than likely will break towards the upside. And it's gonna be a continuation of this rising wedge pattern, which is going up. Now I do believe that that's gonna break out probably up towards this area here. Lo and behold guys, I think we're gonna be breaking and we're gonna be touching around this area, $35,700. Well, what's significant about that guys? Let's go back in time and we draw this blue line across and this is our neckline. Now this is our potential target line. And look where it sits. Previously, previous lines of support become resistance, vice versa. Resistance turns into support. Here is support, okay? The line holds the price above it. Now, obviously it's not a solid line. There is an area through here, okay? Which is why none of these lines stop in exactly the same place. But you could see that you would say that this is roughly an area of interest, right? 
Uh, here, obviously, we came down below it and, you know, similar things. This, for me, is almost a guarantee where we're going to be ending up next. And actually, you can see, if we draw another horizontal line, which is below this area of interest, uh, then you can see that this is probably, you know, the previous resistance here. If we're breaking through that resistance, which I think is going to happen very shortly, in my opinion, then we're going to be moving up very quickly. And if Bitcoin does this from its current prices, I think it could see a 30% rise very fast. And what that will mean for the likes of HBAR, XLM, Hello, Zilliqa, Ocean, you name it, is going to be catastrophically exciting. So what we're going to see that happened to Bitcoin recently, or this year at least. Here, what, 18th of February, right? Bitcoin rallied, all the altcoins rallied with it. Then Bitcoin kind of carried on, and then the altcoins sort of waited. Still a little bit uncertain. Bitcoin will obviously rally first before the rest but it's giving us a good opportunity. Let's look at what's going on in HBAR. So remember, that was the first one. Somewhere around February, we saw the first big push uh, into March. HBAR moved up into here around mid-February. From that low, it did something like 155% gains. Look at it though. That literally happened in a couple of weeks. And in a couple of days, this is just two days, HBAR did 49%. If you miss out on one of those moves, you're gonna be kicking yourself. And the only way to not miss out on them is to DCA, dollar cost average, into these now. Now, that's not financial advice. You need to do your own research and identify whether or not you should be buying HBAR right now. But if you're waiting for HBAR to slide further and further down, I think you're going to be left wanting. As soon as the markets make you think that you're waiting for it to go lower, it doesn't happen, okay? What we have with HBAR is a very significant pattern that's played out here. We've got this downtrend. And you can see we are literally kissing this downtrend right now. And then... If we look at what happened previously in these areas down here, then you can see jumping into a four hour, the more than likely this is our buy zone. Uh, and we can see it. We have a nice bit of sideways action. Then we pump out a bit, bit more action, pump out. Okay, look what happens now. We're coming into it. It gets wicked out of it. And literally we're sat on that trend line. You can see HBAR just explode beyond there. I think it's going to happen if Bitcoin breaks that trend line. And you can see HBAR probably rally back very, very fast, in my opinion, to at least this next high here. 35% to at least the next high above that from current prices, 59%. Most people will be waiting right now for the breakout to happen before they buy in. You can do that. The price could keep going lower. So what's the point in not buying in now if you're going to wait for the breakout? Because that breakout could happen so fast you miss out 15, 20% of the move. I personally buy before these breakouts. Now, I could be wrong, obviously, guys. I could be wrong. So what? If I'm wrong, then HBAR carries on down here. So what? Just because it's moving in an upwards direction doesn't mean that it can't, you know, pump up like this. This is your psychology. If I buy in now, it could go lower. It could. But if it buys in here and you're like, oh, I'm going to buy now, well, who's to say that it can't go lower than that point there? The chances of it coming down from there are much higher than it coming down from where it is right now. Your brain doesn't tell you that. I get it. It's a monkey mind. It's confusing. And if you want to know what you should be buying, what you should be selling, then you can just copy what I'm buying and selling right now in a $1,000 portfolio challenge I'm doing on KuCoin. If you want access to that, guys, just click on the link down below for the inner circle, $9.99. Share every day what I'm buying and selling in there. I actually bought something this morning and the information is available in the spreadsheet there. The quantities I'm buying, the percentages I'm buying. And everyone's talking about whether it's a good choice or not. What I bought in there. Everyone's talking about the next trades they're taking. Everyone's talking about all of the stuff coming up. This is probably the most exciting week in crypto that I've seen in a long time. Don't get blinded by the news. I could be wrong, of course. So be very careful to protect yourself. But I just don't think I am. I think the bull market is on. And I think something very big is happening very very soon guys hit the like button if you enjoyed that if you're new to the channel you want to learn more about cryptocurrency trading then subscribe and i'll tell you some real stuff as it happens see you in the next one Bye bye